I'm Emma Hobday. I'm Blake Middleton. And we're here from Radius Networks to talk to you about an experiment we've been doing testing how long it takes to send a notification to various Apple devices when a beacon is nearby. The devices that we used were an iPhone 4S running on iOS 8.1 and an iPhone 4S running on iOS 8.3. We also used an iPhone 5 running on 8.3, an iPhone 6 running on 8.3, and an iPod Touch also running on 8.3. So for our experiment, we had a beacon and we had five phones placed equidistant from each other. With a separate phone, we timed the amount of time it took for the phone to send a notification saying that it entered or exited the beacon zone. Now the results. Uh, the fastest was the 4S, coming in at around one second on average, and the slowest was the iPod Touch, coming in around seven seconds on average. And exit times we tested, which are how long it takes for a device to register that it is no longer within the active zone of a beacon that it was previously active. Whether it's turned off or it just leaves the zone because somebody's walking away with their phone in their pocket. This took longer than entrance times. It takes between 30 and 40 seconds rather than under 10 and it is much less reliable. The 4S and the 6 works almost none of the time, like 70 percent of the time there was no result. The five works five out of six of the times, so don't depend too much on that function. All of these trials were done with the devices not plugged in, as is going to be mostly the case in actual app usage. However, when plugged in, both the iPhone 6 and iPod Touch were much faster, going down from averages of five or seven to averages of one second. For more details on this experiment, click the link to the Radius Networks developers blog in the show notes below. And be sure to check back in regularly for more BLE Beacon videos from Radius Networks. Thanks. Done. Got it. Awesome. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, no. We're not starting a new take. No. <laughs>